like this will make me a simp if i sit up here and buy you these flowers and go all out for you romantically and then you do some to know that in two days from now you're the gift that i actually asked for i'm not gonna get welcome back just jumps to my channel we are here with a another story time my curls feel very light and loose they don't feel heavy like they did last week which is crazy i'm not sure <laughs> i feel very schoolgirlish but let's get right into the video and my face look a little white around the bottom i don't know why because i just put lotion on again because it it felt white but i don't know why because i moisturized i wash my face in the morning i lotion it I'm not really sure, but on camera, it looks white. But in real life, it looks cute and caramel. Maybe it might be my light. They got me looking extra white. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Let me try to bring this down. Ooh, the diamond is glistening. Let me stop touching stuff. Let me stop touching. I'm going to be Caucasian today. Oh, ooh, bump it. Okay, so. If you're new to my channel, my name is... <laughs> This is the chaos that happens on the shop. If you're new to my channel, my name is Shay. The channel is just Shay. Uh, I make story times, as you can see. Uh, day in life, I haven't made one of those in forever. Weekend in the life, tips and tricks, travel vlogs. And back in the days, I did used to do the stripper vlogs. But here we are, reformed. Um, not really. But anyway, <laughs> if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, to, and comment, and subscribe. So my returning jewels in June, make sure the post notification bell is on. I tell y'all all the time, YouTube is a hater. And to my two-lot crew, what to do? Let's get straight into this. So for my OG jewels and gems who've been rocking with me since I was in college or when I first started doing uh, transitioning out of stripper, stripper vlogs and money count, stuff like that, into really going heavy into my story times. Y'all know back in the days, we used to do series and I'm bringing it back for a little while. I kind of got out of doing in order series where I would give y'all a character and give y'all all their story times in a particular series from the time we met to the time we stopped fooling with each other. I used to do it all the time, but people was in the comments complaining about hearing about the same person every single video. So I stopped doing it and I started just going out of order. But that would make me forget to come back to that character or like I would say, oh, I'd give y'all that story time later and it never happened. So that's kind of why I'm back like, okay, well, y'all really been wanting these Scorpio story times, but I'm a strong believer in I'm not going to talk about nobody unless I'm done completely dealing with them. Friend, family, lover, foe, it don't matter who you are. I'm not going to get on here and sell you out until I know I, I'm okay with never speaking to you again. That's just me. Because sometimes when you tell the truth, the truth be hitting hard. The truth really be hitting hard. Because when I be telling my story times, one thing y'all know, and two things for sure, I don't come over here and bull job with nobody and no story time. This is just, this, this is to clear the record. This is a P.S. Mother Love It A. Because people get in their feelings when you tell the truth about how they conduct themselves when they come to you. One thing about life, your opinion is never wrong. But I never give you a fact. I came back up. So y'all come, don't come talk about, oh, this, that. Don't come commenting under no video in your feelings. Don't come writing me in no DMs. Don't come hitting me up for no private number. Talk about, oh, why you talk about me? Don't come try to spin the block asking me about this story time, that story. If you did something to me, you know exactly what you did. And the way I interpret it is going to be the way I interpret it. And when I come on my channel and sell you out, just be okay with it. You deserved it, sweetie. You deserved it. Thank you. Let's get straight into it. For the people who really, 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 really know me, y'all know I love to do a story time in my robe. So, you know, it's holiday season. All these stores got all these sales going on. The sales is better to be like Friday. Ulta had a little gift you could get if you spent $70 or more on fragrance. So I said I spent $70 or more on fragrance. I got my gift. If you know, you know, a bad, a bad bee love a rub. I love a rub. Y'all know I usually come in here with my cheetah print or my Victoria's Secret Christmas robe I got in 2021, baby. 
um, a 2020. I can't remember which year that was, but I always wear those robes in my story times. And now we got a new one to add to the collection from from Ulta. From Ulta, sweetie. So let me put my robe on. Right, let me squeeze my tiny in this because it is a small medium <laughs> okay i might have lost weight but a bad still thick now let's keep going with this i'm just untying this little piece in the back let's keep going with scorpio for the people who are new to this series please go back to uh, the first two three videos i've done so far so the very first video where i introduced him was how we actually broke up i did the series a little out of order um, and I talked about how he tried to turn me into a side chick. <laughs> he moved his baby mama in. That was the first story time I introduced him. The second one was about um, uh, how I met Scorpio. And then the most recent video is how we went from friends to lovers in all of 12 minutes. So, two minutes. Sorry, I do apologize. I really want to take this top off. So, I just, I'm giving just straight robe. But, you know, whatever. Let's go. So, here we are. I said, if y'all want it, I'm going to give it to y'all. Y'all want to play by play every single month of the BS I went through. So, let's start. We already talked about January. January is when things kicked off with me and Scorpio. And that's when we transitioned from friends to automatic lovers with that one day. From that point on, he and I were swapping out time, spending every night at each other's house. He stayed in Tampa. He stays in Tampa. I live in Lakeland, Florida. It's about a minimum of a 40-minute drive and no traffic from where he's at. With traffic, it could easily take us an hour to get to and from each other. I used to always tell myself I'm in a long-distance relationship. So, yeah. So, what was going on in January, he would say, oh, you know, I, you know, he asked me to spend two, three, four, five days at his house or he'll come spend a night, two, three nights in a row, and then he'll randomly tell me in the morning, hey, um, so tonight I'm not going to stay tonight, or you don't have to come back tonight. Um, I just want some alone time. So he started doing that in the middle of January, out of nowhere. So I'm like, okay, cool. I never fought him on it. I didn't really care because at the same time, it's like, didn't know what this was. We were supposed to be friends. Now we spent spending every single wake up with each other. You want some alone time? Had it. I don't. You know, it's not going to bother me. But then he'll turn around and that same day, not even an hour later or sometimes not even before I can make it home, change his mind and be like, never mind. And then come over here, fly, fly from Tampa to Lakeland and then come spend the night with me. So that was going on. And I was like, this man, his mind is doing a lot because he's telling himself he went a long time. But then the minute I'm like, OK, cool, because I never pressed him on it. I just be like, all right, because I understand like we are spending every single day and night together i would want some i want some alone time so i would say okay and then he'll turn around and come over here so uh about the end of january i was like listen i'm gonna just come sit i need to have like a sit down conversation with you because i kind of see where this going and what i'm not gonna do is be nobody sneaky link what i'm not gonna do is and i love to say this i'm not no in-house cat I, I don't stay in the house, baby. I said, that's one thing about it. You gonna learn real quick. And I had to I had to sit him down and tell him. I said, you think you're just gonna keep staying the night with me or me come stay the night with you and we ain't going nowhere, we ain't doing nothing. And this just gonna be some in-house house coochie that you finna just milk and, and, and squeeze and use off of. We're not doing that. I said, I didn't do it with security guard and I'm not doing it with you. I don't do it with no man. You ain't finna keep me up in no house and just be beating my walls down. I'm just a pretty little secret. I said, you're going to take me some places. You're going to buy me some things. You're going to show me off. I said, I like to be, I, I like to be shown off like a collection purse. I, I, I like to be a, <laughs> I like to be seen, baby. I said, you're not going to keep coming over here. And that's it. That's all. I'm not, that's not, I'm not going for that. So he was like, okay, cool. He was like, we can go out. I plan something. This is our very first date. So if y'all want to go back to collect the evidence and the receipts, you can very much do so. February 2022, we went on our very first date. It was a vlog. I made it a date night vlog where I was getting ready to go out with him. By this time, me and him had been bumping on bumping almost a month. So it probably was a month at that point, but we was bumping on bumping. So he was like, he gonna plan out the date. Just, you know, come dress this what time he want me to pull up to the house. Da, da, da. 
go back and watch the video if you want context. I just gave you the month and the year of the video and the title of it. So there you go. So date night was really nice. It's the first time I had actually drunk alcohol out, bout, and not at the house. And we went out. We had a really good night um, at this restaurant. He took me to, it was a little chilly outside. So they had the warmest up. We was downtown Tampa, this rooftop restaurant. It was so many people. My social anxiety was going. But um, we ended up leaving a little bit early because I just could not focus. Like I was just like, it's so many people in here. It's, 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 it's killing me. And so we ended up leaving. We put our food in the car. And then he was like, well, do you want to go walk the pier? It's not that far away from here. You know, we just go downstairs from the parking garage. And then people usually walk the pier and stuff like that. So we went, walked the pier. We had a very in-depth conversation, kind of getting to really know each other some more. Girl, this little thing just pop, just so much material popping off of it. So, yeah, we got to know each other just a little bit more, a little bit more intimate, kind of understanding each other. The walk was really nice. So he was like... I'm not ready to take you back home. Do you want to go to uh, this nice little quiet bar that I like to go to? So he takes me to this bar across town. It's about 20 minute drive from downtown Tampa. And I can't remember the name of it. It was so something very corny, very just uh, so Caucasian. It was like something like, I don't remember, something like the bar. So I think that's, I don't know. It was... It's a bar, so it was something named, like, I think it was called The Bar, if I'm not mistaken. It, it gave very, just describing exactly where you're going. So, yeah, and then we go to this cute, quiet, it gave very grown and sexy, very sensual, very, just like, you know, if you know about the place, you know about the place, and when you come, you come very, you know, put together. So, we get there, it's about maybe 16 people in this bar. Um, he asked me what I want. I'm like, I would like a Pinot Noir, chilled, you know, because I know my wines, baby. So I'm like, I would love a Pinot Noir, chilled. He was like, what's a Pinot Noir? I'm like, it's a red wine. They'll know. So he goes up there. He gets his, he's a liquor person. I'm a wine person. So he goes, he gets our drinks. He brings them back. We're talking. I only had the one cup of Pinot Noir. If you never had Pinot Noir, that red wine will get you good and feeling good in one cup. So, I've transitioned to Pinot Grigio because Pinot Noir is just a lot. It's just a lot. It's very sophisticated. It gets you, okay? So, gets the Pinot Grigio. I mean, Pinot Noir, we talk, we finish our drink, um, and then he tells me, oh, before we go back, I need to go pick up something from one of my homeboys. So we, again, now, this is a whole night activity, baby. The date started at 7. It's 12 a.m. Yeah. So he goes, pick up something from his homeboy. I peeped the scene like, oh, he, he went to pick up some refi. And he takes me to, back to his place. I parked at his place. That night, we go back to his house. And this is when we kind of started a tradition thing like we would do after every date night. We'll go back to his house and then watch a movie together. So, this was the first night we actually did that after the date. We came back and we watched the movie together. So, when we're watching the movie, we're talking and stuff. And I was like, hey. At this time, I was still kind of into holidays just a little bit. But I was like transitioning out of really wanting to celebrate holidays. I had kind of put my foot down as far as like not being i'm not doing all this celebrating mess so he's like um um so kind of want to talk about valentine's day you know i know it's coming up because it was coming up it's like two weeks away it's like i'm not really big on valentine's day i'm not a big romantic person i don't be really knowing of like the stuff to buy ladies and stuff like that i've never really done that um, so what are you, what do you want for Valentine's Day? So I tell him, I said, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not big on celebrating holidays in general. Um, but the only thing I really want for Valentine's Day is, and I told him, I showed him a video. I said, I'm not a big materialistic person. Don't let my purse collection fool you. I'm not a big materialistic person. That's not my MO. That's not my stilo. So I showed him a video of this room being decorated with a bunch of flowers, rose petals, just nice setup with a dinner. And I was like, that would mean a lot to me. I said, us having an intimate moment, me being able to have some flowers, take away the flowers, you know, that just would, the inner child in me would be so like, 
it would be better than any gift you could ever give me any jewelry any clothing any purses like yes i love my purses but and at that time he knew that i love purses so he was like so you don't want no purse you don't want no perfume i'm like yeah you can if you want to do that additionally but you asked me what i wanted and what i wanted was that i don't want all that glitz and camera and extra expensive stuff that i'm probably not gonna wear a lot i'm not gonna use ever but valentine's day or the next couple of days to kind of appease you i don't want to have you waste your money so he was i'm telling you right now i'm not a romantic guy i don't do the i don't like to buy the flowers and that's not my i've never bought flowers for a woman i don't want to do no whole big setup for this that and the third and i'm like what so now i'm just kind of like floor why did you ask me what i wanted and i'm telling you what i want and you arguing with me about what i want so it turned to an argument. So I turn and I'm just like, so what was the point of you asked? Because his couch is an L shape. So he normally always sat like right directly in front of the TV because of the chair, the table was right there. And I always sat, sat on the long part so that, oh my God. <clears throat> oh, this material is cheap. So, and it got my nose. Woo. That little, that little wool skin. What is, what's on this? Cause this little seventy dollars can't be worth it if it's doing got me doing all this. Sneeze my nose red now. So I turn to him. We reenact in the moment. What was the point of you asking me what I wanted if you gonna turn around and argue me down about what I want? Like I don't get that. And so he turns his fat head ass to me and say, well, I didn't think that that's what you wanted. Like, I'm telling you now that you told me what you want. I'm not a romantic guy. I don't buy flowers for women. Da, 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 da. So I'm like, okay, so, okay, so what are you going to get me? Because I don't want nothing else. I don't want no purse. I don't want, you want to pay a bill, but I don't want, don't ask me what I want. And I'm telling you, I don't celebrate. But if we're going to do this thing, we could be in this so-called thick ass relationship. We're going to do this thing. Give me what I want. Because if. I ask you right now what you want. I promise you I'm going to buy you what you want. Because it defeats the purpose of me spending my money. And I know you're not going to appreciate it nor like it. But men, they don't listen. So, I said, so tell me what you want. So, he tells me exactly what he want. He's like, well, you know, I'm a cologne guy, which he, he is. He's a cologne guy and a shoe guy. He loves shoes. He was like, and I love polo. Like, that's, I think it's polo. Yeah. Polo, he was like, you know, these are the type of brands that I, I like clean. He really did. Like, clean cut looks very calm, subtle. He's not big on, like, flashy, flashy. That's never been his stilo. Very cool, calm, collected, very clean cut, very, I want to smell nice, I want to look nice, and I will present myself like a businessman. That's always been his MO. I peeped that from day one when I met him in the club with the glasses on. So, I'm like, so if you told me that, Regardless of how I feel about men wearing cologne, polo, uh, the shoes that you are, you're talking about, I would still get you what you wanted. Eat regardless of my feelings, because my feelings are in the equation. If this is supposed to be something to make you feel nice and feel appreciated. So, yeah. He was like, well, how about we just don't do nothing? I said, okay, we ain't got to do shit. Because I don't want no damn bullshit. I don't want no bullshit. So, that would turn into an argument. I was like, just drop it. Don't even worry about it. I said, don't. Don't worry about it. If you're not gonna do it, I don't. I don't want nothing else. Like I don't want nothing. Like, and I meant it. If you're not gonna give that to me, I don't want nothing. I'm not one of the people who's itching for you to buy me something. Cause I can buy anything you're gonna buy me. I can buy myself. I'm not dealing with a millionaire who's gonna turn around and buy me a, a, a fucking one way ticket to Australia. Like your your money is about here. You're here and I'm here. So anything you're going to buy me, I could more than likely 10 times out of 10 buy myself. I don't need you to buy me nothing I didn't ask for. Like, you get what I'm saying? So that was that conversation. So we moved past that. Now, mind you, he's the type of person, he don't want to let it go. So I'm like, cool, just don't worry about it. Don't buy me nothing. I don't care. So he was like, you should just let me buy you what I want to buy you. So I'm like, do whatever you going to do. Because I already told you I don't even celebrate. And you now, it's turned into an argument. And it's still going on days later. He would bring it up days later. Like, you want me to be a romantic man. And I'm not romantic. I said, well, I'm romantic. My love language is gift giving. Words of affirmation. Acts of service. I like stuff like that. I don't need you to be just doing what you want to do. Because you it's gonna make, I said, it's going to make you feel good. But yet, we still carrying on two, three days later. Goodness gracious. Oh, my God. Because I had already made up in my mind. Don't worry about it. 
you don't have to do it, baby. I'm going to do it for myself. Like, I had already met any time a person don't do, don't beg nobody to do nothing for you. I had already decided I was going to do it for myself. I was going to decorate, I was going to decorate my apartment the night before I went to work. I was going to even buy myself a cute little gift, buy myself some flowers, set up everything, put the balloon. I was going to do it. Baby, I surprised my own self. Come home from work, been up, forgot I did it, and be like, oh my God. So I had already made that up in my mind, baby. What you talk about? So fast forward, like a week later, I, I'm like, I'm still going to buy him what he said he wanted because then he will see how it feels to get exactly what you asked for so i go out and buy him exactly what he wanted i bought him a jimmy Choo blue because i peeked in his collection he didn't have no jimmy Choo. baby you got to have some jimmy Choo, especially jimmy Choo blue because that's a real nice smell so anyways gives him the jimmy Choo, gets him like four or five nice cute like you know nice shirts whatever the case may be and I think I bought him something else. I can't remember, but I think that's what I got him. Right? Anyways, three hundred dollars on this gift. <laughs> we was on it, bumping on bumping for two months, and we arguing already. So gives him the thing. I go to his apartment, and mind you, we still doing the stand night all the time bullshit. So he went out to the store to go grab us something to eat. I'm being nosy, walking around his second bedroom. Now his second bedroom was really like his closet, which is kind of how my apartment is. I use my second bedroom as a closet. So I'm going through his walk-in closet in the second bedroom and I'm looking high and low and up at the top where you keep your bush at. And I see a Victoria's Secret bed. So I'm like, I know. I just know this man ain't went and bought me no Victoria's Secret. We ain't been together alone. So I open it up and it's like a size A bra and a size small penny now mind you the girl he was fooling with before me she's about my size thick nice thick dark skinned girl so i'm like this couldn't be for her so he must have been he must be either fooling with or was fooling with in the interim a tiny chick because the receipt was definitely still in the bag so i'm like i put it back i just peeped it made a mental note because I was going, when I came back, I was going to see if it was still there. So, and it was also a coupon in there because, you know, they love to give a, a 25 off a of 75 coupon. They love that. So, I be make a mental note. I'm like, okay, so either he fooling with another bitch or he is just corny as fuck and buy the same shit for everybody because that's niggas go to. Let me get her some panties and bras. Don't even be the comfortable panties and bras. Don't get it. If you're going to give me an everyday wear bra, please. Thank you. 34 double D. I don't get it. Lace-ups are not comfortable and I can't wear that at work. And er, fast forward, in about maybe two, three days, this, this back and forth does not stop about the roses. He steady brings it up whenever he feels like he wants to bring it up. That's the type of dude he was. We could be having a good moment and he'd be like, so are you like not understanding why I'm not a romantic guy? Like I need you to understand that this is the stuff I've been through in relationships and why I just feel like it'll make me a simp. This is the type of bullshit I was dealing with with this man. He'd be like, this will make me a simp if I sit up here and buy you these flowers and go all out for you romantically and then you do some dumb shit towards me and the shit don't work out. Now I done sat here and I'm like, you, the logic is dumb. So, me, 23, trying to explain to a 37-year-old how you sound stupid. I'm like, what? Who has hurt you? Because you're literally sounding retarded right now. So, I'm like, you would rather spend two, dollars $300 on some bullshit for me because there's no romantic aspect to it versus you probably spending maybe $60, $70, $80, $100 at max for the little shit I do want, like the flowers and the roses and the balloon set up with dinner. Because the flowers are more sentimental. They're more romantic. So if shit go left and we don't work out, now in your mind, that little petty $100 is weighs way more than the $300 you're going to spend on something I'm probably not going to wear again. If I do wear it, it'll be for another nigga. I, and this is the type of conversation we would constantly have where I'm trying to bring logic. But it's like, you one of those. I peeped it a long time ago. Oh, you one of those. You one of them alpha men. Where I can't simp for you because if I simp for you and it don't work out in my favor, I'm the dummy. Versus let me just love you, love you correctly, love you openly. It was just, the logic was dumb. I peeped that way, way early on. The, the red flags 
was blaring red, but I just kept bypassing him. So this kept, he kept trying to prove his point and I would shut him down with facts each time and then he'll let it go. So then what ended up happening was he started like actually pulling away from me. So remember how I would say he'll say he wants some time to himself and then turn around. So he would be, he'll start doing the bullshit again. So, um, yeah, like you don't have to worry about coming over here. Uh, this weekend because I want some time to myself. So I'm like, okay, let it go. Next thing you know, I don't hear from him for the next two, three days. Do it again. Now we right up at Valentine's Day. I haven't heard from this man in three days. So I'm like, what? Like, well, what? He'll randomly text me. We'll talk for 0. 0.2 seconds. And then I won't hear from him for another three days. So now I'm like, somebody else's feet in my dog. Because this is this is weird. You go from every single night, you can't stop being up underneath me. So I'm not hearing from you for two, three days at a time. And when I do hear from you, it's sporadic. It's once during the day and no phone call. I'm just like, so now I'm like, let me go back out here and swim in the ocean. Because baby, clearly you done found you another fish. So I start, I'm like, now you done made me wish I didn't even spend any money on you. So then he comes to me and we, uh, he's like, can I see you tonight? Da, blah, blah. He pulls up over here. I'll never forget it. It was the first time we had an actual argument. That little petty shit about Valentine's Day was nothing. So he was like, I'm like, so you think I'm supposed to just keep kicking it with you, talking to you, hanging out with you, and all this, when you now, I ain't even talking to you for two, three days at a time. He was like, you don't fucking understand. I'm trying not to be that nigga around you. And I was like, what nigga? Like, because now I'm confused. Because all you've ever been up until we had the Valentine's Day conversation was gentleman-like, respectful, loving, you know what I'm saying? Like, attentive. So what other nigga is there that I need to be on high alert about? So he's telling me, like, I don't want you to see that nigga. I want you to keep getting the nigga I'm giving you. You understand? I ain't got it all. So I'm like... So how do you think this is supposed to work when you giving me, at this point, it sounds like somebody that you're not. And he was like, you know, ever since my son passed away, I've been going through some stuff. I'm still grieving. I'm still, I'm not okay in the head. There's moments where I need to be alone and I need to just, just sit in my emotions because I'm going through some shit. And you don't understand that. You're not being patient with me. You want me to hurt, put, you, put us in a relationship. Mind you. No, I wasn't. But in his mind, because I kept telling him I'm not finna be nobody sneaking link for the next four, five months, he felt I was rushing him into a relationship. So he'll, he'll be like, you want me to hurt and make you my girlfriend when I'm still trying to, I'm trying to grieve. So I'm like, bro, I at this time, I was still cool, complicated. So I'm like, but you want me to get to know the real you, but you're you telling me right now that you're not showing me the real you. How is that supposed to work? He was like, because once I show you the real me, the stuff that the the way I've been feeling lately and how I get when I'm in my moods, you gon' you ain't gonna wanna me no more. You gonna cut me off just like the last women's did and da 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 and da da da. So I'm like, but I'm telling you, if that's how you feel, take time and heal. And you don't need to keep me around your life. Why that's how you feeling? Cause you don't need to try to damage me with, off of something I had no no dealings in. And I kept trying to stress it like, leave me alone. Deal with you, what you got going on, and then come back when you're better. Do you think that man did that? No, he did not. So that argument, he was like the most I I ain't never seen him like that. So he was like, you just need to understand when I'm going ghost, it's because I'm dealing with my feelings right now. And I'm not trying to go off on you and show you that side. So he kind of showed me that side in the conversation of telling me he don't want to show me that side. And I was a little scared. Cause the nigga's six three. And he was giving, he'll beat me, beat me up. So that was the first little winky dink link that I got of, oh, he's a little insane. But I, I didn't take he and just completely blocked the man. So we two days from Valentine's Day. You know, everybody prepping up for Valentine's, getting ready. So I'm over at his house. This turns so I said something about the, the thing, whatever. So we watch we watched the movie. He was like, so I feel like I kind of like ruined Valentine's Day for you. And I kind of feel bad. So I'm gonna go give you your Valentine's Day gift now. And I'm like, why is this man give me my Valentine's Day gift two days before Valentine's Day? Just I'm mentally like, bro, what is going on? Why is he doing this? 
mind you, we having a good night. The movie night is going well. Like, we having good vibes. There's no arguments happening. So, he gives me my gift, which is, you guessed it, Victoria's Secret. So, there's two bras in there. Now, these bras are size 38D. So, I'm thinking maybe, maybe he went back and decided, mm, these are too small. Or, the bitch he was going to give it to, he decided, I ain't fucking with her. So, let me exchange it and get the sizes I think she is. So, he got a two 38Ds in his size large on the thongs. He got me a um, watch, a pink, a pink, a pink. I moved it. It used to be down here. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. I don't even know where it's at. That's a shame. He got me this, he got me this watch, y'all. This pink iced out watch. As you can see to this day, it's still in the box. Clean, clean as day. He got me this. Cause he loves this brand. He gets all his jewelry from them. So I can say all, but majority, like his watches and stuff, he gets from this company or whatever. So he got me this watch that I've never worn except for the day he gave it to me to try it on, which it was too big. So he told me I can go and get a clasp, whatever, from them. Cute watch, brand new. L love the watch, but I'm not a watch person. I'm not a bangles and accessory person. That's not my stilo, right? So he gives me this. He gives me he gives me the um uh, what is it? The Victoria's Secret mini little perfume set it was like a three set that um from the actual victoria's secret not pink victoria's secrets you know they little high fragrance fancy line the three little set right and then 200 dollars in cash so i started crying because i'm like this is really nice but it's all i'm crying because it's like why you just didn't wait the valentine's day to give me this like what was the point of doing it? So he was like, yeah, it's probably better than the gifts that you got me. So I ain't even saying that because I'm like, I'm not going to give you your gifts until Valentine's Day, bro. So I'm just like crying. I'm crying because it's like, bro, why can't I just have stuff go right for me? Now, mind you, somebody else may have been the $200. Of course, you know, I'm grateful for cash every day, all day. But it's just like, I don't get why why he, I don't get it. it just, to this day, I can't really uh, express the Feelings that I felt, I felt like, why is how I felt? Like, why did you do, like, we we was having a good night. Didn't feel like this was necessary for you to give me this right now. And then again, to know that in two days from now, you're, the gift that I actually asked for, I'm not going to get. And then you, I really love this watch. But again, I got it February 2022. It is now about to be February 2024. And I've never not once ever wore this watch. This is not my style. So I feel like he wasted $200 on a watch. And that is more so why I'm crying. I'm like, you, ugh, fuck it. Anyways, fast forward. So two days later, Valentine's Day come. And he tells me he has reservations for us at this Greek restaurant. <laughs> so the night... I go over to Tampa. I bring him his gifts. He loves it. He absolutely loves the gifts that I get, got him. And I know he would. Because he told me that's what the fuck he wanted. So I get him the gifts. Fast forward. Um. Oh, snap. Sorry. I'm leaving a part out. So mind y'all. Remember I told y'all I went to... I told y'all I was... When he said he was not going to do the flower setup for me, I had already predetermined in my mind I don't care I'm going to do it for myself. I went out and bought some fake rose petals. I bought a bouquet of 12 roses from Publix. And I was out, when I was out shopping for him, I had seen this really cute, it gave Valentine's Day purse from uh, Aldo. And I bought it for myself as my Valentine's Day gift because I felt like that was a cute little touch. Let me show you how the purse I got. So, this is the purse I bought myself for Valentine's Day 2022. And yeah, 
right? So the 13th, I went and set up the night before I went to work because that was a weekday. I went and I put all the flowers on the floor. I had put a little sign up. I still got it over my bedroom. Um, the kissing booths. I put all the things up. I blew the balloons up and and I put the flowers on the stove and the vase. I cut pre-cut the stems, all that, and I put the little um purse right in front of the flowers and I wrote myself a cute little note. So when I got off of work the next day, I could come in the house and be surprised. So I had kind of like did like a little boomerang on my Instagram and I posted on my Instagram. And um I was like, um it I was like, I said something along the lines of do it for yourself if they, if they won't do it. And this guy won't say his name he had swiped up. He was like, why are you doing it when I asked you to let me do that for you? Now, mind you, I know this guy. And I know this guy from the club scene because we worked together several occasions in several different clubs. Really cool dude, but I never really looked at him like that. He was more so like a cool ass dude, just a homeboy type stuff. So he was, I was like, but that's weird. Like, so I wrote him out like, I told you no, because I feel like that's weird. Like me and you never been on that type of time. Like, you know, you just cool ass people. He was like, but I don't want nothing from it. I just really wanted to. I for, this this is how he said it. For myself, I've always wanted to do that for a female, and I don't have a female to do that for. And you want somebody to do that for you, so I feel like it would be a win win situation. And I, you know, you cute, whatever the case may be. So he kind of told himself a little bit. So I'm like, you know what? If you would like to, that's fine. But I'm still going to do this for my own self, right? So he's like, okay. So he started asking me like, well, you know, what else would you like? So I told him, you know, I'm big into Steve Matt and I love Steve Matt and Aldo, uh, BB. You know, I love persons like that. That's my, that's my style. That's my style. You know, Steve Matt in the back. Peekaboo, peekaboo. So Aldo at the top. Anyways, and so, um, he's like, okay. So fast forward, he tells me he's going to come and rent a hotel room in Lakeland. So I don't have to drive to Tampa. So, um, that night, was it the 13th or was it the 14th? It was the 14th. It was actual Valentine's Day. It was actual Valentine's Day. So, actual Valentine's Day, he texts me. He's like, hey, I'm heading over to Lakeland and, um, I got everything set up. I'm checking into the room right now. I'll let you know when everything's done. So boom, I'm off at the Greek, Greek restaurant with him. And lo and behold, I walk to his house when I give him his gifts, there's nothing set up. So I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Fuck you. And we go to the restaurant. There's a little bit of tension that whole night between us at the restaurant, because he was like, you know, I feel like, you really didn't like the gifts. And I'm just like, you saying stuff I told you already beforehand. But he was like, you know, I hope I didn't upset you. I just really want you to understand that I just never bought flowers for no woman. That's not, I'm not a romantic person. I don't know how to be romantic. And I'm like, because in my mind, I'm like, don't even worry about it. Because I got a nigga that's doing it right now. And when he texts me that he's ready, I'm leaving. So I, I, I'm I listening, but I'm also not listening. Because mind you, you want, you only want to put a title on us. You keep talking about you going, you grieving, you grieving, you grieve, baby. Because I'm not going to keep putting my whole everything into this shenanigans and not have nothing set aside for when this don't work out. Because I, I wanted to be like, to try to pro prove him wrong, like commit to him and just 100% just down and not have no niggas on the backup line. But I felt like the way he kept presenting himself is like, I had to keep some type of ace in the hole because you clearly in the long run it's not gonna work out but i'm gonna play this game as long as i can play and that's why when we get down to the cues and the, the the cues and the elemental p's you're gonna see that i still had my hand out in the world because i was never nobody girlfriend in this whole scenario so fast forward we we have a little tension throughout the whole night at the greek restaurant we eat we kind of talk but i'm like when everything was said no we got back to the place i told him i'm gonna go back home I don't want to fuck. I don't want my pussy. Ate, I don't want nothing. I'm going back home. Because, like, for what? You feel me? Like, you gave me my gifts two days early. You told me you like my gifts. But then we get to the restaurant. You talk about how you still need me to understand that you're not a romantic person. And I'm like, we've had this conversation now since February 1st. Like, what we steady talk about this for. You don't. You didn't want to do it. I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not beating you down about it. 
I just simply express how I felt about the matter. And if you're going to deal with me, you need to understand I'm a romantic woman and I want a romantic man. How are you mad at me about that? I don't get it. Let it go. So I leave, go back home. He texts me like, hey, the room is set up. This is the room number. Let them know you need a key. I'm finna go. He said he had to go do something, whatever case may be. Now, mind you, this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max with a new iCloud. I don't have none of the videos on my phone. But my iPhone 13 Pro Max, let's get it going. Let me see. Now, if you really want to go back and watch this vlog, all the vlogs I'm talking about is on my channel. Like, because guess what? I knew a day would come where I would end up telling these story times. And I don't care what happened now. We ain't together. We ain't effed in so long. So if y'all want to go back and watch this, you can now then have context. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. I went back to Lakeland. He told me the hotel he was staying at, and he told me what the room number was. I went downstairs. Oh, I left and went straight to the hotel, and I told the lady, hi, I'm checking in for this room. Can I get a room key? I walked down the lobby, y'all. This man had been so thoughtful to the point where he had roses even outside of the door. He had a little note card in the little light that had the room number on it, for me to read before I even walk into the room. Girl, let girl, let me find this video. Let me scroll up to February 2020. I have over 11,000 pictures and videos on this phone. Not joking. So I have to keep this on the May of this year. Oh my God. Okay. How you figure out? Because sometimes you can drag it in the... That's June. That's February. That... This is March 2022, March 2022. Okay, so we right at February. Okay, so I didn't record from outside of the door. Let me see what day to say. Oh, this is actually the next day. So I actually got a part. This is why I like to bring out my handy dad proof. So this is actually the next day. It's not February 14th. So, which makes it even worse, child. So I'm just like floored. Anyways, so I walk into the the hotel. The hotel's like um, got a little kitchenette area. As soon as you walk in, he has roses. And for, let me see if I can find the video. If you want to go back and watch it, all of this will be on that vlog. So you walk in, and this is how it looked from the door. He not me from the strip club, so these are definitely ones. Stop playing. How do you turn these lights on? So I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a little like, oh, okay. <laughs> With the candles on each little heart, right? Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. This is the room. Oh my. What the fuck? I'm speechless. Literal speechless. Okay. So, to somebody that's like, bitch, he ain't really do shit. So, what is you speechless about? But you got to understand. Okay, so let me give context to people who may be cold-hearted, who are like, that's nothing. That's like $12 balloons and this is the... The point, the, and this is for the people who aren't wired emotionally. The point of it is, I told you what I wanted. You gave me exactly what I wanted with your own twist to it. And I can't believe you would actually listen, execute, and then not want anything from me 
So not only did you give me the setup of being surprised, walking into it, I kind of like didn't, you know, with the whole, which I actually didn't even capture everything on the vlog, but like when I actually went, cause he came, he ended up coming to the room and I was already there for like a couple hours, whatever, not a couple hours, like an hour and a half. Um, when I actually started like looking more around, he was like, did you see the stuff in the bathroom? Did you see like, so apparently he had did little trinkets or uh, like little, like I told you guys when I first got there, he had a cute little note card. So he had did little trinkets like that where he was writing stuff on the, on the hearts and stuff. And so I'm just like, wow, little attention to details. And then the things that he actually ended up getting me, it was like, you know, uh, self-care stuff, like, like exfoliant with, uh, what is it called? Like the Shea Butter Soap and the inside the Steve Madden book bag. There was like more presents, a, a wine, chow, this nice little teddy bear that it like, it was like more than just what I just showed y'all. So now I kind of like sat and thought about, thought about, I was like, this probably didn't cost, oh, sorry. This probably didn't cost this man nothing but like maybe a hundred dollars minus the money because I did count the money, child. It was like two something. But like, this probably didn't cost him anything for him to do such a small gesture for me to make me feel good and also make him feel good because he always wanted to do something like that. So to me, it was like, it kind of made me feel like I definitely pulled away from Scorpio a lot after this. Not to go be with, you know, oh boy, but because it showed me that you're selfish. Like, you're very selfish. And that was just the beginning. Because, baby, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, how did he turn around and ruin my birthday? Like, you know my birthday's in March. Oh my goodness, how he turned around and ruined my entire birthday. I can't even, I can't even explain how a person be so selfish to the point where they can't even make the day about you about you but i digress i'll talk about that in the next story time but yeah so i hope y'all like my little curls but yeah she probably might get another debut i don't know because she giving cheap she giving activating dust mites i don't know Victoria's Secret would never be so cheap. But yeah, I don't like this material. This 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 uh I can't remember what it's called. I know I know how to spell it, but S P E R A that material is giving mm, I can never put her in my washer or my dryer. But nevertheless, I'm too blessed to be stressed. And like Willie T say, body so separately. I hope y'all like this. <laughs> Uh, check out my new braces. Mm, yeah, pink. We're going into the new year back in pink. But I hope y'all really did enjoy this story time, and I hope y'all are enjoying the Scorp Scorpio <sighs> series. We got so many more story times about how he just was so unemotionally just connected, uh, disconnected from the world. But yes, that's it. That's all. And until next time, girls and gems. Peace.